Pioneer EQ 6500 equalizer for you guys so I want to walk you guys uh, through the equalizer so this is where the power goes and as you see here we have the input right left we have the subwoofer uh, terminals those two are the left and right subwoofers and then uh, we have the rear outputs left right left right so that's the rear output left and right and that's the front output left and right so basically what happens is uh the sound comes through here okay so this is where your input goes in and then once it gets processed it comes out through here and for the subwoofer that's where it goes so that's that and uh i want to show you guys the connection because a lot of folks have been asking how do you connect the the power cable so the power cable has four wires to it as you can see so that's how it goes in to the back of the equalizer that's how it goes in okay so it going in that way this is how you look at it the bottom left of your left hand side is the ground cable the bottom left is the ground cable then the bottom light right that's the 12 volts uh constant okay and it says here it goes to the ignition let me just uh um, spread it out for you it says here it goes to the ignition I don't know if you guys could see that ignition switch and then the top left goes to the car stereo this one goes to the system control of the car stereo so what it does basically is uh, it goes to the positive side of the car stereo so when you turn on your car stereo it in turn turns on the graphic equalizer and then the top right is the uh, lead terminal the positive for the amplifier okay so this is what this current is what turns on the amplifier that the EQ will be connected to so that's a left I mean that's a negative that's 12 volts constant or to the battery lead that's to the amplifier and that's to 12 volts to the uh, car stereo so that being that so uh, at, at times what happens you might not find this connector what you could do is when you check the power supply of a desktop computer it has this connector so any older desktop computer that's not working you could check the power supply and you'll be able to get uh, this connector and then you will just do the same thing as I showed you guys the left the lower left that's your negative then all these three all this is power connectors okay so that's to the uh to the uh battery lead that's to the uh stereo and that's to your amplifier and to show you guys that it is working I will um, I will connect th this uh, connector that I got from the computer power supply. Okay, so connect that to the negative. There we go. 
and the lower right that's 12 volts power and all this is you know 12 volts so I could just wire them together okay and then collect that to the uh, positive side so when we flip the EQ around and we want to test it uh, this is what we get let me turn off the lights for a while for a little bit uh, give me a minute. turn this baby on bang see that right there you have the EQ 6500 powered up so you could change the illumination with that button you get the green you flip it back it's orange and you, you could turn off these lights by that button right there boom now this button here this is for the subwoofer what some people do is they primarily connect a mono amplifier to the subwoofer channel so when you tap that on it cuts off the subwoofer and when you tap it back on you, your sound comes back on the subwoofer and these are the controls for the subwoofer okay 